So you just went out and bought yourself a brand new AHP Alpha TIG 203XI. Brand new machine, only been on the market a few months. You plug it into your wall socket and it goes poof. Smoke comes out, machine won't turn on. What the heck? Is it cheap Chinese junk or is it you? Now, keep in mind, I've never, ever had a problem with one of these machines here in this shop. They have never blown up. They have never failed me. They are absolutely awesome machines. But I keep hearing, oh, it blew up. I blew a capacitor. Capacitors went. Capacitors are junk. Maybe not. There's a way to test. Something you should check before you ever plug a new machine in. Heck, I do it about once a month or so, just looking for a bad connection. I take a voltmeter and I go to the wall plug and check my power coming out of the plug. Is it correct? Is it the right voltage? Is it the same voltage on each side of the plug? That way the machine is happy. If it's two different voltages, you've got a bad plug, you've got a loose connection, you might have a bad circuit breaker. You know, there's something wrong in your electrical system before it ever actually gets to the machine. So the wrong voltage or inconsistent voltage, you know, you've got 120 amps on one side, you got 90 amps on the other. The electronics in these is not gonna put up with that. So how do you use this? Let's go to a wall plug and I'll show you. This is a Fluke 323. It's a uh, true RMS clamp meter, which simply means you can open this clamp and put it around a wire and tell how many amps are going through it. So looking at the bottom of the machine, you can see there's a red cable and a black cable, and there's also a red port and a black port. Obviously, they plug into their respective colors. Turn the machine on, let it boot itself up, and you can see right here, you turn it to the first setting, and it'll say volts and AC. You go to the next setting, and you can see it's now changed to volts DC. And how do you use it? Real easy, guys. The black is ground, the red is hot or positive. So remember, you've got three different wires in here hooked up to this plug. You've got a ground, you've got a common, and you've got power. So if you go to the ground and go here, you're going to find 121.7 volts. But you can also come out of the ground and you can go to the common, 121.8. So that's just telling you you've got 120 volts in this socket. So if I wanted to hook that AHP Alpha TIG 203XI up, I could just put the, the special connector on the end of the plug to fit into this socket. Machine would fire up and run perfectly, no problem. You know, it's a dual voltage machine. It'll run on 120, it'll run on 240. So plug it into this socket, you're good to go, no problem. Okay, so this is a 220 plug that I use to plug my welders into. And you test it the same way. You take your ground or your, you know, your black lead, you'd go in the ground hole. You take your red lead and you'd go in either of the blades and you've got 121.4 and 121.4. But if you take your black lead out and put it in the other blade and find the pins, now you're showing 242.8. So it's got 240 volts across the two blades it's got 120 volts between ground and either blade. So the 220 side of the AHP Alpha TIG over there, you plug it in here, now you're running on the full 240 volt. Now you can get the full performance out of the machine. If either one of these plugs, if either one of these blades had shown, you know, like I said before, 120 on one and only 90 on the other, you're gonna blow up the machine. So that's an ohm meter or volt meter. You know, they go by the same name. I picked this one up at the big orange box store. You know, it seems like it was like 35, 40 bucks. You can find them at like pawn shops for half that sometimes. Very handy tool to have around. So I do appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to come out to my website, see what's going on out there. And I'll see you next time. Oh. Um.